welcome fans of flip clocks I've got a flip clock in from a fan of flip clocks who wants me to take a look at it and I appreciate doing that because uh, I do it for the cost of shipping and just for a chance to kind of keep them up whoa I hate packing peanuts I really do I mean it's probably the best thing to pack uh, clocks in but man I just hate these things seriously um, so anyway they just get everywhere they're going back to the dude I'm sending those back we're gonna get a, a look at the clock kind of get a feel for what's going on with it what its major problems are see what I'm saying and we want to get a feel for what we're what we're in for it also doesn't hurt to take movies when you're doing stuff so you can keep an eye on these screws and and what's going on so this is the Cameron model RC7469 they named their clocks back in the day this clock is named Cameron you can see it's kind of Cameron is kind of dirty here it's the uh, this is the national Panasonic version that little symbol down there indicates that let me see the clock is is pretty dirty we're gonna have to work on that too so the problem is uh, the radio is not working and as I'm fiddling around here, I can tell that these, these vo the volume control and the tone control here are a little bit uh, staticky. And that's usually a real easy fix. The clock, there's a light that's working. It comes down from the top. I'm pretty sure that clock is doing fine. So here we go. This is FM, AM. You see that's lit up. FM, now it's lit up over here. You can't see it very well because it's dirty back there. We're going to try to clean that up. We're going to check the alarm here. Okay, so that alarm's just fine to radio. Now we're going to see, now that clock does work. I didn't flip it over. And there it alarms to rock his buzzer. So this clock's really easy to take apart. There's just these two screws on the back you have to take off. The other screws don't worry about right now. So you you just lift up from the rear here and off it comes. We gotta be careful not to yank our speaker wires out. And we're gonna have to take that speaker off so that we can clean the cabinet really well. You, all the components have to come out. There's our switches. Now this one I don't think is a problem here on the right. We'll take a look at it. Get some dust bunnies. Now there's a light there for the clock and there's two lights there that uh, light up the knobs. We've got all the components out and you can see it's filthy in here. We're going to get all that cleaned out and you can sort of you can see there that it's sort of smoky looking. This bezel here you could try to take all that apart. I advise against it. To clean that we're going to we're going to try to get soap and water from the back side. I'm not going to take all this apart. Someone's rubbed their finger on that, scratched a little bit, but when I'm cleaning this, got to be careful because the chrome there will, um, I'm going to put ammonia in there, but if you get ammonia on your chrome, sometimes that'll take that off, so you got to be careful with that. Now, the rest of this is brushed aluminum, and that's not a problem. So just got to be careful, and that'll get that blackened stuff out of there. So we turn our attention back to the clock here and the switches. You can see better how that goes. Lights as it goes from uh, FM to AM and it's bright enough so it's the clock's dirty but that's why it's not uh, you can't see it as well so what what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you it's pretty simple I've done this before in other videos but it's pretty straightforward like I said this one here I don't think is a problem because when I when I turn it it does what it's supposed to do it turns the radio on and sets it up for alarm so that was not a problem now this is the tone it's called a potentiometer. We're going to show you how to clean that out, basically. You're going to use electrical contact cleaner and lubricator. And there's several versions and varieties out there. Now this one here is the FM-AM selector, and that's one that gets missed sometimes. And you can see there, it kind of rides on those tracks there. Well, you got to get some stuff down in there and, and clean that out. And that'll, so with those two things on top and that FM-AM selector, we'll, do, we'll get this thing going again. Now this is the mechanism here and it's filthy, it really is. So I'm gonna clean that up and the numbers too are dirty so I'm gonna clean each individual number, believe it or not, with, with a Q-tip and uh, distilled water. 
So we'll get this clock looking pretty good here. Well, the process here is you, 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 you got to spray the contact cleaner right in there. And once you get it in there, you just work this, the knob back and forth, back and forth. You're, you're basically cleaning that out. You can do that a couple times if you want. Same thing over here. You just work it back and forth. Uh, you don't want a lot of extra goop on there. You want to wipe off the excess and you want to get one that says it's plastic safe and you don't really want to get it on your sugar board. A little bit won't hurt anything. So right in here, you want to squirt right in those tracks. I kind of let gravity take it down and then we'll just go to town on that. That's going to clean everything up. So on the motor, we're going to double check. You see how freely that spins? There's really not a problem with this motor. There's no reason taking that apart and messing around with it. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Now, I'm going to energize here, to, but uh, before I do, see that right there? That rail there, that's where the power comes in. That's full power. You lay your hand on that or hit a piece of metal on that, and it could be the end of you, literally, and I'm not playing around. I have never been shocked by a clock yet, so let's not do it today. Okay, so as soon as I plug it in, that motor comes on. There's no, there's no hesitation, no delay. See, as soon as it's in, so that's good to go. So here we are before, this is the clock, what it looked like when I first got it. Uh, dirty, needs to be cleaned, and here it is after. Everything's working good and looking fine. I hope this helps somebody. When you get the time, come visit us at flipclockfans.com.